Hey guys, Frankie Simply Imaginary People, and I was asked to make a tutorial on how to make custom rigs for Blender, for poses, for, I guess, my freebie pictures. So I'm just going to go ahead and load my old version of Blender so that we can use this for poses. And then I'm just going to go to User Preferences and install that add on. I mean, add Okay. Make sure I've got the animation tools and then I'm going to open a rig from the basic one. So, oh no, no, no. New computer, don't know where everything is yet. Uh, no, it's not school, sims, creating rigs. Okay, let's open the adult male rig. So, like always, the horrendous adult male rig. So, do a couple of things. And this one is just here. You can see if I press plus, you can see all the parts that belong to the adult male rig. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to delete the hair because I really don't like hair in my sim. Right. Now, I am going to delete the bottoms and the top. And also one tick. Just a quick hide that, it's very annoying. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to import um, clothing. So the best thing to do is I usually the feet, bare feet. You can do this for the feet too, is just already pick um, a top or a bottom that you and you just can say click on load cast. And I'm just gonna go to my desktop because I already made a new folder. And you'll see just normal package files that you downloaded, you can open up. So this one is cast bottoms jeans. So I'm gonna open those jeans. And it decided it didn't want to work. Sometimes it really does not like me. Let's open the adult male rig again. I don't know why it does that. So the bottoms, just click on here and say load cast. Uh, New folder two jeans. Keep saying it. Obviously, it does not like Blender streaming. jeans and like that and you can see these two groups I'm just going to leave that and now I can delete the top and again click on adult male rig and say load cast and the top you want to use it's going to probably crash and take ages to do this again It refuses to let me run my old Blender version on my dedicated graphics card, so it usually often dies. Right, now I've got it in there. I mean, I can theoretically leave um, Blender versions there like this, but I think it's really goddamn ugly. So I'm going to change to Segel's render and change to Material here. And again, hide the stupid bones. Right, so I'm going to click on AMIs, and I'm going to go here to Tick Material, delete that one, add new, click the dot, image texture, open, and open, Ooh, I need some context. Right, somewhere I probably do have some context. So, oh, context. So all you're going to do is literally, if you have some contact to like, you're just going to open them in Sims 3 PE, right click on the image file and save the DDS somewhere. And then you're just going to click here and you're just going to open it. So I need to go to project eyes contact. Uh, let's see which one's in here.
Okay, these are all the ones of my new eye mesh, which doesn't really help me because I don't have that one here. It's not the one they use in their rigs. So you can either import a different eye mesh and use those, or just find some ones. Ugh. Contact four, then the one. Okay, right. so I've got some eyes. Do the same for the face. And all you're going to do is, out of the skin that you like or you want to use, you're just going to extract the images. So say you've got a skin, so project, and then maybe, I don't know, Dropbox. You've got a skin. You can just, again, on these images, with the body images or the scalp images, just save as DDS and save them somewhere safe. So I'm just going to click on A and Face, delete the old one plus new image open and click on desktop because I've got to save that is already oh that was a scalp picture that obviously doesn't look very good yeah open face texture Hell, really creepy sometimes. Uh, same for the scalp. And then just add new image, open desktop scalp texture. Right, you can hide the face for a second and you'll see you've got teeth. So theoretically, if you felt the need to do it all properly, you could click on teeth. And also do this, so image open, I swear I have that saved as well somewhere. Let me just check. Project eyes. Here we go. Open number five. That'll do. Project eyes. Open number five. Okay, so teeth. Okay, and face. Good. Now, um, for the feet, you can do that as well. You can um, just image open. Um, the body skin, so the feet have color. It gets a bit more complicated with clothing because clothing is theoretically one group, so it only has half the arms and half the face. So sometimes what's helpful is to click on, see what that is. Okay, so these are the pants, and I know the pants have two groups. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that new folder that I had, and I'm just going to open those jeans. The cool thing about the jeans is they actually have a texture, which is useful. So I'll just say, save DDS, and save it in that new folder, and see, jeans. And then I can do the same here, add new image, open new folder, jeans. Perfect, now it's got jeans. The top becomes a bit more difficult, because you'll see what happens if I... Um, just export an image. Save DDS. Top. Okay. So the easiest thing to do when you have clothing where it has the body part and the top as one mesh is just to go to your folder and open both the top texture and the body texture. So. On this, you're just going to go to Channels, Alpha, click this button, go back to RGB, say Layer from Background, select Inverse Delete so that you got rid of the background. Check the image size of this, 2048, and then make the body size the same size, 2048. Perfect. And then just going to duplicate this onto the body. Now, if I want to 
I can maybe at least give it a color, I guess. Give it something a bit more interesting color wise. Like a pinky red top, I guess. Right, I can just fill that up. And say soft light, so it kind of has that color. And then I'm just gonna select the surrounding area and delete it. Just so that you have the top on top of the body, and then I'm just gonna save as I can save it as a PNG this time. In that file. Wait till the hook done thing saves. And then do the same here. So that's my top. This is another um, body group. So for this one, just add a new image because the pants had the body and the pant group separate. So that's good. Sometimes helps. The body, and then here, same thing. New image open. Um, B PNG. Now that we've combined it, you'll see it actually looks combined. Obviously, if we wanted to some cool stuff, just duplicate this layer, make the shadows come out a bit more. And on this one, we can theoretically. That darker and make the rim bits darker. Or add a add a pattern on top of it if we felt like it. Those guys. Cool thing is if I edit this. Then it also changes in Blender if I render, which I'm not gonna do at the moment, I'm just gonna reload it. Desktop. Yep, looks a bit more like a top now. Right, so now I've made my custom rig. The best thing to do is save as AM rig edit so that you can always open that one next time. You don't have to redo it. And then obviously you can now hide, unhide the bones and Close the dude for a quick second. I'm not really going to do much. I don't fiddle with them. Um, I'm a sucky ass pose creator. Woohoo. Right, so when you finish posing him, obviously do something way cooler. To take a photo, the best thing is, I'll just put it to the side and delete it. Just to um, push up this window down. I never need that either. Um, I use the snipping tool. Oops. And I'm just at the bottom here. I'm going to click on rendered. So you can see it's pretty dark. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to blend render. Go to this world. Take ambient occlusion, environmental lighting, indirect lighting. Go back to cycles. Click on the world. I want my background color to be maybe a cool blue. And then render. And you'll see, you have to wait for the samples to go up a bit higher. You can change how many samples, which will also depend how clear the image is. Usually you have like 30, so you can make it a bit more right samples. Hmm, bigger now. Yeah, and then snipping tool, save the picture of the pose wherever you want it. And that way you have a custom rig. And yeah. Also, obviously, if you feel like being really weird and extra, you can click on his face, motor, edit mode, or sculpt mode, which I think is only here. Um, you have the grab tool, but this is obviously going to influence your pose making. So if you wanted to have a bit of a cooler look. But yeah, you really shouldn't do this because obviously it's going to change how the poses move. But hey, now he's got a different face. But yeah, that's pretty much just how you add it.